Hello, my name is Leonard Bunting and today we will be going over the setup of the Vortran Resuscitating Ventilator. With me today is Dr. Ashley Sullivan and special thanks to Dr. Charlene Babcock who helped come up with this setup. We're going to be going over how to set up the ventilator for a single patient and also for uh, two patients uh, at the same time. So when you unbag your Vortran, there's only a few pieces to it. You'll have the tag, which actually goes pretty well through how to set it up, so that's always your friend. You have your oxygen tubing. On the oxygen tubing is your FiO2 device, which will help you set how much FiO2 you're gonna get. And then you have the ventilator itself. So, the first connection that you will make is to connect your oxygen to your ventilator. So. If you want 100% FiO2, you're going to connect your green cap to your oxygen tubing first, like so. Now, this has tape around it because if you see, it's actually cracked. That is because these are delicate connectors, these caps are delicate, and when you screw them onto the Vortran, you want to be cautious to not over tighten them. This could have been screwed on first. You gotta be careful not to over tighten it. Just finger tight, just snug. It doesn't have to be overly tight. All it's doing is just covering up those extra ports. So just snug, okay? Next, you will come over and connect this to your, a high flow port on your flow meter. On our flow meters, it is this port here. This will deliver 50 PSI of oxygen. So I'm gonna screw it on. When I make the connection, it's gonna make a loud noise. I'm gonna unscrew it just for a second so that we're not dealing with that noise to point out the rest of the connections on the Vortran. The other uh, things on the Vortran are the pressure meter. This tells you how much pressure is actually being delivered to the patient, a pressure relief valve, and you have this T-nut or this T-screw. This tells you how much pressure is being delivered to the patient. So this is how much pressure you set being delivered to the patient as you Tighten it, it's increasing the pressure being delivered to the patient, which is seen by the stripes on the sticker. And as you loosen it, it's delivering less pressure. And then on this screw, it sets the rate. As you screw in, you're gonna slow the rate. And as you unscrew, you're gonna increase the rate. That's how the Vortran works. And it, you'll see there's a little bit of interplay between the two. So as you change one, it'll oftentimes change uh, the other one. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, set up the patient now. So this is a standard patient connector. So we're going to put a green filter, which is a bacterial and viral filter. Hook that up. We have our standard vent tubing. And then we have this hooked up to a test lung. This is an ARDS lung but this would be hooked up to our ET tube. Now our connection is set for a single, for a single patient. And I will go ahead and finish the connection here at the oxygen. It's gonna get a little loud. And you can see that it's beginning to ventilate. Now, because the patient has non-compliant lungs, despite the fact that we're getting up to 15 centimeters of water, we're not delivering a lot of tidal volume. If I release the compliance, or if I increase the compliance, to make these more like standard lungs, you can see that the breasts are gonna get quite a bit larger. So this is more like a standard lung setup. So again, I can increase the rate by unscrewing this screw, and you can see my rate has gone up. Now, if I want to slow it down, I'm going to screw this screw inward to the right. I'm going to tighten the screw. Now my rate is slowed down and the patient has much more time to exhale. Now, if I want to decrease the tidal volume, I'm going to decrease the pressure by unscrewing. And now the patient's getting much smaller breaths delivered. And if I want to get a larger breath delivered, I'm going to tighten this screw, which will deliver larger breaths. 
And again, you can see how much pressure is actually being delivered to the patient in centimeters of water. Now, I'm going to unscrew this for a second. That's the standard setup for one patient. Now, for surge capacity, if you want to ventilate two patients with this one device, then you just need a T piece, which your respiratory therapists hopefully have, and a connector. You can use regular corrugated tubing, just cut a piece of it. We also like these. These are the corrugated tubes that come off a nebulizer treatment. They're a little bit less compliant and they're slightly stiffer. So to make a two patient connection, you're going to decrease your one patient connection from your Vortran. Hook both patients to your T-piece. Then connect end of your T-piece to your Vortran and then make the final connection of your ET tube on the other side. This is another ARDS lung, so they're both going to be very uh, low compliance. So now we have both connected. Ensure that all of your pieces are fully connected. Make sure that none of the connectors have popped off and none of the release holes are open. We'll turn our oxygen on. Right away, you can see that we're ventilating both lungs, okay? We can increase our pressure if we want to deliver a larger tidal volume. As we do that, you can see that our rate has decreased. And you can see because these lungs have different compliances, as the system is based on pressure, we're delivering different volumes. So balancing a system like this is challenging. But if for some reason the system stops ventilating, the most common cause is a connector popped off. If that happens, reconnect it. If it's still not ventilating, it may be that the diaphragm is stuck. See whether or not the diaphragm is moving. If that is the case, then the Vortran has to be replaced. Thank you very much.